I thought it was a great hockey game. Uh, you know, they're a first place hockey team. They've got a lot of depth. Uh, you know, it's probably the best hockey team we've seen this year. And uh, I love the way our team played. Uh, we had a good chance to win the hockey game, uh, down 3 2 going into the third, and uh, came back. And, you know, it's, when you lose in a shootout, I don't really win or lose. It's, uh, I don't take a lot of stock in it. What, what makes them, you mentioned their depth, Sean, but otherwise physically on the ice, what makes them so good? Oh, they've got a lot of good players. I mean, Speed, though? And, yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, when you've got skilled players and you've got a lot of talent, then you're going to have a good hockey team. Uh, but I thought, you know, I think we outshot them by the end of the night, and uh, obviously we had a couple little turnovers that we'd like back, but, you know, from, from where we were last game to where we were tonight, I thought it was a big improvement. Mark, from your opinion on his uh, performance tonight? He was good. Um, they got the one lucky goal there. But uh, he made some huge saves. Thought he played well. You had like the uh, opening period. Was that your best, you think, of the game? Well, I don't know. I, I actually thought our second period was, was our best period. Uh, you know, I, I thought we started to get some momentum in the second. We, started to play in their zone a little more. Uh, we only gave them, I think, two scoring chances in the second period. And uh, again, we've got to find a way to stay out of the penalty box and, and not take penalties, especially five on threes. Welcome back. Uh, physically, how do you feel playing a full game going into overtime today as well? Uh, well, I didn't feel great. And I think that shows too on the on the board. And I thought the guys played an unreal game. and. You know, scoring scoring four goals at home is uh, you know uh, we should get a win, but you know it, it didn't happen. But I thought the guys, uh, you know, it's, it's great to see a, a group with uh, such character and uh, you know the the battle for for 65 minutes. Well, what was tough for you? Play, this is the first time you played in a game that counted the standings since June. What was what was most difficult for you out there? Uh, I don't know that I haven't played in a long time. Probably that. Anything physically bother you at all? You feel you're 100%? No, I feel good. It's more, you know, obviously get the get the rhythm back and uh, just get the feeling and, and the timing back. Uh, I think it's the biggest thing. So body body feel feels uh, feels good. So that was good. Back in Utica for the first time, you know, fans obviously love here. You know, you know, what's the feeling coming back out to the well, Utica's a city, and you know, obviously the fans here is, is unbelievable. Best, uh, no doubt, the best, the best fan in the AHL. So you know, it's it's always fun to, to come here. But you know, I I much rather had a win than you know this outcome. I, I didn't plan this, so you know that was a little upsetting. But you know, it's hockey, and it's ha it happens. But you know, obviously the fans are always great here. Um, which of those goals would you like? It was the one in particular that the one from the left point that did that surprise you? All of them. And you're ready to go again tomorrow night? We understand you're going to be in there again tomorrow night. Well, if the coach let me put me in the net, I'll be in the net. Jim, what did you see out there that you really liked? Well, the Toronto have a fast team. They have a good team. And you know, I thought our guys competed hard. Um, we went to the net hard. You know, it's when you're playing a fast team like that, you got to play well positionally. And uh, for the most part, I thought you know, we were in good position. I thought they got a couple lucky goals and stuff, but our guys worked and competed hard, and we could have won that game. Anybody in particular catch your eye? Uh, well, I was watching a, you know, a bunch of guys. The defense, I thought all the defensemen played well. Um, Sautner, for a first-year pro, I think he's really starting to um, adjust to the speed and the skill of the league. And, I thought he played a good game on the back end. Um, I thought Padan was good. Biega, Fadun, they were all solid back there. Um, and, you know, our forwards, um, Brandon Gauntz, I thought, played a strong game, you know, doing the things he can do. And our guys, like, our, I thought our forwards worked hard. And what about uh, Marks from first game that counted since June? Yeah. What did you think of him? Well, he made he made some unbelievable saves on on goals they probably should have scored on, and 
And if, I think a couple other plays he probably would have liked to have back. One but from the left point. Yeah, yeah, that one from the left point was a tough one. But um, for his first game back, he hasn't played in six weeks. Uh, I thought he, he was okay. Yeah. Um, and uh, we're told that he'll be right back in there uh, yeah. tomorrow. He's going to play tomorrow. Because right. you're going to want to see him. Yeah, he's going to, like he hasn't played for six weeks, yeah. so he's got to get some games under his belt and then, um, we'll see where he's at after tomorrow night's game and then make a decision on him. I'm Padan, he, from, uh, from this standpoint, he looks much more composed than a year uh, than last year. What, yeah. what do you think? Well, he, he worked hard this summer to get in real good shape. Um, you know, coming out of junior, he was, he was a, a guy that could skate with the puck and he's got the big shot from the point. And his last year of junior, he had a, a real good year for a big man. Um, but for him to keep developing, we want him to, you know, make simple plays out there, uh, play physical, and I thought he did that for the most part tonight. How do you like having the team in Utica? I mean, third year. You know, yeah, oh, out. it's it's great. I think it's it's wonderful. It's the fans are, you know, wonderful. They show up every night and they're loud and they cheer for the team and they're behind the behind the guys. So uh, we're. We're real happy with our situation down here.